Sunline Transit Agency has recently partnered with several local agencies, including the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center, to launch a human trafficking awareness campaign. The goal of the six-month initiative is to educate the public about signs of human trafficking and how to report what appears to be suspicious behavior. Sunline provides public transit services in our valley spanning over 1,000 miles carrying approximately 4.2 million riders. Many of these riders are young and vulnerable. Traffickers exploit buses to move their victims around. And that's why Sunline Transit Agency spearheaded an awareness campaign for this initiative. The Barbara Sinatra Children's Center is specifically a resource for troubled youth in our county. They are very excited to be part of this crucial new awareness program. We are very fortunate to have uh, committed professionals in our community that have come together to create the Coachella Valley Coalition Against Human Trafficking to have a united front to address human trafficking issues in our local community. The coalition is in its infancy. We've just formed together as a united front. We have uh, many partners, Safe House, United Way, uh, Rotarians, so Rotarians of the Desert, um, the Human Trafficking Task Force, and many more agencies are uh, starting to come to have uh, awareness in the community. So tell me how Sunline Transit is involved. So as we were forming the coalition, Sunline Transit Agency received a grant for a campaign for human trafficking awareness. So we joined together with the expertise of our professionals to teach Sunline and educate their bus drivers and their agency personnel on the signs of human trafficking. And then um, we also partnered with them on their PSAs just to bring awareness. We are so fortunate for Sunline taking the initiative to start a human trafficking awareness campaign. The first, I believe, in the desert to bring awareness to their bus riders, to, um, to the community, um, through radio and TV PSAs. It's a really uh, unique opportunity to bring awareness to our community. The hope is that when our uh, community, their bus riders, they see something, they say something, report any suspicious behavior, whether that's an adult, whether that's uh, a youth, um, something that doesn't seem right, that makes you feel like that person could be in trouble, essentially becoming a lifeline to the voiceless. So that reporting hotline that um, you can um, get access to by Sunline um, and also through 911 and any any kind of um, websites that you can find. Um, you can report it anonymously. It doesn't, you don't need to know that it's fact. It's suspicious. And then you let investigators take over from there. Barbara Sinatra Children's Center has been instrumental in leading the coalition. I'm a director of forensic services and victim advocacy. So it makes sense that we get involved because essentially for children Children and adolescents, uh, human trafficking is child maltreatment. We have an expertise in child abuse at the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center. So we collaborate with other agencies that work with children and youth. However, we also collaborate with uh, victims that are adults. And we collaborate with the agencies that work with those, um, those individuals, survivors, to help get them resources that they need. How big of a problem is human trafficking here in the Coachella Valley? Well, it exists. It exists in every community. Um, for professionals who do this work and have an expertise, the only way we're going to be proactive into combating this issue is that our community steps forward and are vigilant in interactions in the community, see something, say something, and bring it forward. Such important information. And for more information, please go to our website, NBCPalmSprings.com. For NBC Care Silver Linings, I'm Sandy Newton.